Good afternoon, LockDoc here. Got another favorite of mine. It's the PDQ GP series. Um, very good lock. Uh, no issues ever with this one. Uh, at least not something that couldn't be easily fixed. Um, in the box, you got, of course, the lock set. Latch bolt. Screw pack. Strike. And, of course, keys. Uh, this is just template and instruction information. Nothing too fancy with that stuff. Um, reason I say it's a favorite. Uh, it's a favorite because it operates, the cylinder operates, it's a very widely available cylinder. Um, unlike Sargent's, uh, this barrel diameter is a little bit larger and it falls more in line with Schlage locks, PDQ locks, um, I believe you can use an Ilco cylinder to fit in here. Um, on the inside of here, these are the lever return springs. Um, usually if things go wrong with these, you know, it'll be snapped or something. And uh, you can get replacement springs. Typically you kind of got to talk to the factory. I don't believe it's published in any price list or anything. But you can get new ones in here. Uh, it's quite easily made. I mean, as you can see, they're just hooked in back here. Um, there's just three of the same thing. Um, so that's the outside side. If uh, you need to ever take the cylinder out, it's very easy. Put your key in, turn it 90, uh, depress a button, you know, standard operating procedure for different locks and things. Uh, the only difference is you can't get access to the retaining ring from the back side here. You actually do have to turn it 90 degrees here to allow you to depress the pin. Uh, paper clip. So by doing that it releases it. As you can see there's that C clip I was talking about. So when that's vertical that's butted up against right there and that's what prevents the button from being pushed down. That's why you turn your key 90 so that tailpiece is horizontal allowing this to depress. Anyways, so a little bit of knowledge there. All right, on the inside, you'll notice right away, okay, so you got one side that's threaded, and you got one side that just lays in there flat. Uh, definitely this is the outside, this is the inside. You got a push button there. This actually adjusts for the depth or the thickness of the door. Um, they have a one and three eighths. As you can see on the collar there, you got a B and an A. A is one and three quarter, B is one and three eighths. Um, another cool thing about these, uh, especially as it pertains to the functions that have push buttons such as the office entry function or your uh, privacy function, uh, if you end up pushing these together you can actually bring this push button out a quarter of an inch or you can bring it in a quarter of an inch. It all depends on, you know, personal preferences and whatnot, but you can do that very easily. Um, you can also replace this button. Again, you got to contact the factory. It's not something that will ever be in a price list. All right, so when taking these apart, there you go. All right, the lock body is held together with two screws here and here. I'm going to take those not nothing too bad Just a couple all right once you got those free you got to push in on the latch bolt here and then lift up that takes that part out So that's also the shaft. Again, if you remember my video on the sergeant uh, push buttons, they have the same design. There's your notches right there. The notches correspond with right here and right here. Alright, so then we take that out. If you notice here, it's open. And 
That side's closed. If you can take that part out. And be this type you have to go all the way back with it. All the way forward with it. And again if you notice, same. Three springs on the inside. Except this type is all typically they're all cylindrical in shape. So let's kind of put that neatly right here. On the inside, oh hey look, there's that one cam assembly. On the inside of there. Again, that's what's doing your locking, unlocking. This little piece is falling into that notch right there. Right, nothing much there. Tailpiece goes into the back of there. Alright, so that whole piece comes off. Now these make a semicircle right here, because that's actually what's going to be retracting your latch bolt when you turn your handle. Alright, so let's put this all back together. This goes there. way where's your third arm when you need it Let's just put it all in here and see where it goes. That's why they made flathead screwdrivers, right? this spring back here just like that right, then we got this piece oh, and put this shaft back on here all right so oops. So if you notice, one side's curved, one side's flat. Flat side goes towards the latch bolt. And you remember this shaft has to go towards right there. there are the notches have to go towards right there. Um, what we're going to end up doing is pushing this all the way in to show the hole right there. And that's what your tailpiece goes into. Like that. And lock it all back together. So, put this back on the inside side. 
and a good rule of thumb with pretty much a lot of different commercial locks is screws will always be exposed on the inside of the door meaning you can see this head uh, well probably not from this angle but from this side um, it's kind of just an industry standard uh, the inside of the door will always give you the key not you know the figure or the literal key but the proverbial figurative key to getting in a lock okay then this piece goes here make sure to mention there's it's kind of like an oblong D shape which corresponds to there all right then you got this piece slides onto here all right now the outside cylinder now uh, what's nice you can also see right here uh, very similar to the Schlage design uh, Schlage cylinder design however the tailpiece is different uh, this one is a longer tailpiece um, I should pull this out but if you're familiar with Schlage AL series pretty much dead on as far as the same type of cylinder except tailpiece is different Alright, in order to reattach this, you just got to put your key in, turn it 90, put that back on, remove the key, put that in there, ta-da! So, this is the PDQ GP series. Uh, there are several other series that are quite popular as well. There's the SD which is a grade lower than this. There's the GT which is a grade 1. This is considered a grade 2 um, lock set. There's also the XGT. Um, yeah. Anyways, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave a comment below. Have a great day.